a little Asia for you today. Hey, thanks a lot for joining Band Together Leadership Seminars. I am the founder and the CEO. My name is Paul Everts, and I welcome you to my man cave. Again, we're listening to a little bit of Asia. Pretty cool, huh? Love Asia. Great. It's a great album, too, by the way. So, uh, I'm here to talk about being a better person because better people make better leaders, and we need a lot of that right now. My message is meant for everyone. I don't care age, I don't care gender, I don't care race, I don't care anything. I just think that human beings need to get to be better human beings. And so I have an E-triangle. And before I talk about my E-triangle, what I wanna say is you can reach me at my email address, which is band together, and that'd be the number two thing together at comcast.net. You can also go to my handsome website, which is conductingmylife.com, where you can get this little book right there, Conducting My Life. It's about me, high school band director, stories, and then how does that make me a better leader? And I think you'd enjoy it. If you go to Amazon.com, you'll see it actually there's reviews. So how do you get the book? Hey, that's a great question. How do you get the book? Conductingmylife.com. There you go, conductingmylife.com. You go to where it says uh, curriculum. Slide down, see all the wonderful John Maxwell uh, material, curriculum that I am certified to teach. Please hire me to be a speaker, trainer, or coach. I can work with all sizes, all groups, whatever. It'll be fun. So do hire me for that. But you all the way down, you'll see Venmo. And Venmo allows you to get this really good book, Conducting My Life. So please do. So let's go back to the E triangle. The E triangle, E stands for efforts. It can stand for encouragement. It can stand for exciting, excellent, whatever you want it to be. Endearment, I don't care. But for me, it's the E stands for Everett's Triangle. We have respect, responsibility, disciplines on the bottom. Inside, we have integrity, ethics, and faith. We're going through a word called Stoic or Stoicism. It's a philosophy. And uh, the Greeks pretty much came up with it many, many, many years ago. When I'm seeing that tonight is uh, the first presidential election, so you know that I'm doing this on Tuesday the 29th, um, of September. It's probably around, I want to say, 3.30 p.m. Uh, and I think that we all need to know what Stoic is and what Stoic wisdom is about. And I have a, a great reading I'm going to work on. And uh, let me just be personal, though. Being a high school band director and doing Zoom has been one of the most challenging things to do. I'm 54 years old. Uh, last Thursday, I was told that we can't have four students wearing protective garments on their instruments. They can't play in a theater of 330. And I thought to myself, well, we're going back to school on the 12th of October. Um, I see football players working out and athletes working out, I see dancers dancing, I see cheerleading, cheering, cheering, I don't know for what, because we're not playing games, but that's cool. They get to do their activity. And so when I heard that, and I don't, I'm not, the principal's just the, you know, the messenger, so he is as frustrated as I am, and I want to make that clear, because I know that these messages can get out there, and I'm not even upset at my district, and you don't know where I teach, because I don't, this is not about them. But I tell you what, there's just a group of people making some decisions that I don't, I don't know how they're making them. Um, because I'm just a high school band director. Is COVID real? Yeah. Um, I've known people who've gotten COVID. However, it's been now over six months and we're still pretty much doing the same thing. And if we do the same thing long enough and we expect different results, I guess that was a, a definition for insanity. So then we were given the suggestion to read these articles about how white people need to improve pretty much. And that hurt. And so on Thursday, the 24th of September at 10.30 in the morning, I start crying. I cried because I can't teach the way I was meant to teach and that's with kids with instruments in their hands making music together I don't want to read how white people can improve 
and everyone doesn't need to improve. It's just white people and you don't understand that and on and on. And that's not racist at all. I don't, I just, it's not computing to me. And so I was disappointed in myself because um, I lost my stoicism. I, 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 I broke down and started crying. And I thought to myself, I need to walk the walk and talk to talk. And I'm a little bit down now too. Because today for the third time, <laughs> an evaluation didn't happen. And it's the second time because of Zoom. First time it's kind of funny because we, we, you know, if you want to come into a breakout room, I, yeah, you got to get invited. So the dear principal got left out and I can't see it, Paul. And I said, okay, I'm sorry. And today we were in the breakout room, everything was fine. I pushed a button and then it crashed. And then we couldn't get it back in time because he has to see me teach for 45 minutes. And uh, it didn't work. Then I conducted to an empty classroom. And I'm going, you know, you people. Um, the pain that you people cause. is real. This is Suicide Awareness Month. Suicide has risen exponentially since COVID. People are, more, are frustrated. They're losing their will to live. And so when I make these videos, I want you to know that I'm not immune to that. I feel hurt. You might even see it in my eyes. I'm not feeling well but yet that shows you that I'm no better than you I might look better but I'm, I'm in this with you okay so let's talk about stoicism shall we um, I'm, I'm reading from dailystoic.com we talked about courage um, we did that last week temperance which pretty hard for me right now these are the four wisdoms so we're going to do justice so being brave finding the right balance these are core stoic virtues but in their seriousness they pale in comparison to what the stoics worshipped most highly and that's doing the right thing there is no stoic virtue more important than justice because justice influences all the others. I think, you know, as I'm thinking about it, that's, that's why I'm having a hard time. The justice in all this. Seeing again, other people getting to do activities and my students don't. I don't understand. So Marcus Aurelius himself said that justice is, quote, the source of all the other virtues. Stoics throughout history have pushed and advocated for justice. Oftentimes at great personal risk and great courage in order to do great things and defend the people and ideas that they loved. And I, I don't really consider myself to be all that. Yet, others have said, you know, Paul, man, you put yourself out there. I guess these videos here, I am into my ninth minute, and I've already told you I'm feeling like crud. Because people are making decisions. Four kids can't play in a theater. Kids with protective stuff on their instruments can't play outside. Cato gave his life trying to restore the Roman Republic. Thracia and Agrippinus, or I don't know. They gave theirs resisting the tyranny of Nero. George Washington and Thomas Jefferson formed a new nation, a nation which would seek, however imperfectly, to fight democracy and justice, largely inspired by the philosophy of Cato and those other Stoics. Thomas Wentworth Higginson, a translator of Epictetus, 
bloody black regiment of troops in the United States Civil War, Beatrice Webb, who helped to found the London School of Economics and who first conceptualized the idea of collective bargaining, regularly reread Marcus Aurelius. Countless other activists and politicians have turned to Stoicism to gird them against the difficulty of fighting for ideals that mattered, to guide them towards what was right in a world of so much wrong. A Stoic must deeply believe that an individual can make a difference. Successful activism and political maneuvering require understanding and strategy as well as realism and hope. It requires wisdom, acceptance, and also a refusal to accept the status quo. It was James Baldwin who most brilliantly captured this tension in his Notes of a Native Son. It began to seem that one would have to hold in mind forever two ideas which seemed to be in opposition. The first idea was acceptance. The acceptance, totally without rancor. A life as it is, and men as they are. In light of this idea, it goes without saying that injustice is commonplace. But this did not mean that one could be complacent. For the second idea was equal power, not equal results. Equal power. That one must never in one's own life accept these injustices as commonplace, but one must fight them with all one's strength. A Stoic sees the world clearly but also sees clearly what the world can be. And then they are brave and strategic enough to help bring it into reality. So that's justice. And the last one we're gonna to do today is wisdom. Courage, temperance, justice. These are all critical virtues of life. But what situations call for courage? What is the right amount? What is the right thing? This is where the final and essential virtue comes in, and that is wisdom. The knowing, the learning, the experience required to navigate the world. Wisdom has always been prized by the Stoics. Zeno said that we were given two ears and one mouth for a reason to listen more than we talk. And since we have two eyes, we are obligated to read and observe more than we talk as well. It is key today, as it was in the ancient world, to be able to distinguish between the vast aggregations of information that lay out there at your disposal and the actual wisdom that you need to live a good life. It is key that we study, that we keep our minds always open. You cannot learn that which you think you already know, Epictetus said. And that is so true. Which is why we need to not only be humble students, but also seek out great teachers. It is why we should always be reading. It is why we cannot stop training. It is why... We have to be diligent in filtering out the signal from the noise. The goal is not just to acquire information, but the right kind of information. It is the lessons found in meditations, in everything from the actual Epictetus to James Stockdale, entering the world of Epictetus. It is the key facts standing out from the background noise that you need to observe. Thousands of years of blazing insight are available to the world. It is likely that you have the power to learn anything you want at your fingertips. So today, 
Honor the stoic virtue of wisdom by slowing down, being deliberate in finding the wisdom you need. Two eyes, two ears, one mouth. Remain a student, act accordingly, and of course, wisely. That's so awesome, and I needed that so much, and I hope you did too, I hope you did too. So again, the four virtues of Stoicism are courage, temperance, justice, and wisdom. And if you want the first two, we did that last week, which was courage and temperance. So ladies and gentlemen, um, when I do these with you, um, I do them with you. Uh, I do them for you, I don't do them to you. Uh, I'm going through the same things you are. I'm seeing the same rioting, seeing the same numbers you are of COVID people recovering and dying. I'm seeing the same Trump signs and the same Biden signs. I'm seeing and hearing the same hate you are. I guess there's love in there someplace. But I do feel down. And when I feel down, um, I look to God. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Exodus. So I hope today helped. I hope it didn't freak you out and speak you out like, Paul, I thought you had all the answers. Why? why, why oh. No. I'm looking for the answers. I'm a student. I'm always learning. And I'm a teacher. So hopefully I taught you something. You know, like, for example, begin with the end in mind. Every choice you make is who you are. What do you want them to say at your funeral? You do have some power what they're going to say. The other is to seek first to understand and then be understood. People are really hurting. And so when you ask them a question like, how are you? Listen and don't ask for advice. And then the other thing is people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. I care about you. So we need to listen to some music. And then we say, I am doing the best I can. Two more times. I am doing the best I can. Last thing, last time. I'm doing the best I can. I love you very much. Thanks for listening. Always could use your support. Go to Venmo. Take care, everybody. Make tomorrow better than today. Bye.